What's up, guys? Triple Crown 24 back at you with another episode in the TTM series. I have two returns for you today. The first one is coming out of Kansas City, Missouri. These are both baseball returns, and they're both coming from the Midwest part of the U.S. One of one in 12 days. Surprised to get this one back so quickly, but I'll take it. Danny Duffy signed one of one on this 2017 Tops Allen and Ginter. This is the foil version. You can kind of see it as so I tilt the car a little bit. These come out of the hot boxes. I think there's one or two hot boxes per case. So these are really sharp cards, especially in person. I had pretty much every Royals player because I had them in a break, and the breaker sent all the foil cards. So I wanted to see if I could get any of the Royals on, on one of these. I know that Danny Duffy does sign through the mail, so I sent one out. I was really happy to get it back in 12 days, so thank you to Mr. Duffy for that. He was on the 2015 team that won the World Series. And then I have another return. Unfortunately, I forgot to black out my address on there, so I can't show it. But And the uh, canceled stamp is really difficult to read, too. But it is coming from Wichita, Kansas. And it is a three of two success coming from former Detroit Tigers pitcher and member of the 06 Tigers team, Nate Robertson. This one's a little smudge. This is the extra he sent me. I don't know what this is. Let me take a look. It must be a custom because it doesn't have any company logos on the back. There you can see the back there. It's kind of a little bio about him. This is pretty cool. I do like these custom cards that the players send. So always happy to get those. This kind of looks like the uh, Frank Tanana that I got in the last video. And then I sent him this 2000, I want to say 7. Yeah, 2007 Fleer. All these signed in what looks like one of those fine point blue Sharpies. And I also have 2007 upper deck first edition these cards are a little bit tough because the gold borders want to kind of peel a little bit and it's easy to see damage like on the top of this one I don't know if you can tell but both the top corners are a little bit dinged and that's probably just from moving it around a lot I mean this card is 10 years old now so that's expected to happen but this is really cool um, I don't have many of these first editions either, so that's that's really awesome. And he's a member of the 06 Tigers team, which is my favorite Tigers team. I have very fond memories of them. I've been to a few postseason games of theirs as well, so really excited to get those back. So let me get, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. If there's anybody that you want to see me send to, let me know. If you want to know where I got some of these addresses from. It's from Star Tiger or from Sports Card Forum, both great websites. Go check them out. But until next time, I'll see you guys later. Have a good one.